And this is Cricket. Um, she came to us as an owner surrender. Some of the things that we do for Cricket um, while she's waiting for her forever home, we give her little toys to play with, pipe cleaners, um, things like that for her to kind of um, open the box up and kind of dig out. We also um, have volunteers and staff members um, kind of have her run around. And then we give her places to climb, like the cat trees. She really likes to climb up in the trees and watch the birds out on the window. And so we also have bird feeders placed outside their windows um, for the cats to watch here. And that's something that you could sit up um, in your home if your cat has a favorite window. So I would say um, cats need about you know 30 to 45 minutes of exercise a day of being able to run around and really get that heart rate up so that we can keep weight off of them. And so um, using that cat flirt pole, um, having them chase a laser around. Um, lasers are an excellent way for a cat to start running around and we'll use them here. Um, don't use lasers on your dogs though, but, but cats are fine. This is Rex. He is a two-year-old Rex rabbit. Somebody had um, gone out to an area lake and um, dumped about 20 rabbits. We worked with the parks department, the park rangers out there, and they um, found homes for half, and we um, took the other half, and Rex is our last one. He is litter box trained, so you can litter box train a rabbit, and he likes um, places to hide, and so we give him his tunnels, his carrier and we have this large room for Rex because rabbits don't like to live in like the small cages that you see in PetSmart. If you're getting a rabbit make sure that they have a safe place to run around, hop, stretch their legs out, keeping cords away from them so that they don't chew and electrocute themselves. This is Ward and Ward came to us as a stray and he has proven himself to be um, a very excellent dog here at the shelter. Taking your dog places is a lot of fun and there are a few pieces of tips and etiquette that you could keep in mind. Uh, one is your dog, even if they are very friendly like Ward, um, other dogs may not be friendly. And so keeping your dog on a six foot leash, other people can enjoy time out with their dog without the worry of an off leash dog running up to them. Always pick up after your dog. Um, and so <laughs> Always pick up after your dog. The feces gets into our water um, that the treatment plants have to treat. It's just unsanitary. They can pick up, you know, parvo and giardia and a lot of diseases that can be deadly to dogs or make them very sick. So a couple things that you can teach your dog before you go out to public with them is um, loose leash walking. If they're pulling on the leash, you don't reward them by keeping walking, you kind of become a statue and stay put and um, and then they'll stop and then as soon as the leash is loose again you just start walking with your dog when it's tight they don't get to go anywhere when it's loose they get to go and explore and so those are kind of the three tips that i like to teach people when they're taking their dog out and about this spring and summer mm -hmm.